Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about tonight is a little bit about WordFence. Now, I did a video a while back talking about WordFence, but if you run a WordPress website and you're not familiar with WordFence, you should be because it is the number one rated WordFence security plugin in the world and they have millions of installs. So I'm not plugging them. I'm not an affiliate. Uh, I think that they genuinely make good software, but I do have, I have a little bit of an issue. Um, now, if you become a, a, a patron and you join our, our Patreon page, we are going to be doing uh, complete stack builds for uh, those, those uh, Patreon members. And uh, some of them will, uh, you'll, you get early access to those things over there if you, if you go check that out. But anyway, what, um, you know, one of the key components of building a WordPress stack is security. And WordFence is the cornerstone of that, that security. And it wasn't that long ago, if you had um the premium you would have been notified that they now have two-factor authentication and we are going to start heavily covering two-factor authentication as well um you do have to have the premium for this but i i ran into an issue i was working with tim and i thought i was going even crazier uh than i was in that the website that i was working on is hosted on a server that has an RFC address, right? So it's either a 10 dot address, a 172 or a 192, 168. Now I simplified those ranges. You can look those up just by Googling RFC addresses. The computer that I was on was in the same network, different subnet, but even though I enabled two-factor authentication, two-factor authentication was logging me in with just a username and password. It was not prompting me for my authenticator, I use Authy, and was not prompting me for Authy, so I switched to SMS authentication. And it didn't send me the SMS, you know, uh, well, actually, I take that back. When we set it up for SMS, I started getting the text messages. They had the codes, but WordFence and WordPress, they were not prompting me for those passwords. Now, uh, in 2018, you should be running two-factor authentication because if you're not, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hacked or compromised, it's when. So as your apps and as your programs roll out two-factor authentication, you need to give it a serious consideration to running that. Now, I turned a ticket in because I was like, oh man, we found this huge problem, right? Like, what is going on here? Like, this should work well it worked for tim and he was outside of the network so we started thinking okay maybe they've done something with the programming and you know maybe local networks maybe there's a setting or something right so we poured through this the setting something you know and so i turned this ticket in and two-factor works but here's the deal they have it set up so that if you are on an RFC address, so that 192.168 range, the 172.16 through 172.31, and the entire class A10, those private RFC addresses, it bypasses the two-factor authentication. In my opinion, that is a horrible idea. Now, their rationale was no one... Uh, will be connecting to your website with those addresses unless yourself, you know, yourself hosted. So it doesn't make any sense when you're running a true split DNS and you're you're doing things at an enterprise level. It doesn't make any sense for me to send my traffic out of my firewall hairpin it and have it come back. That just doesn't make any sense. You know, we run a split DNS and so we connect directly to the internal IP of the web server, which there are a lot of places that I'm, I'm not an outlier <laughs> in the way that that's configured. Um, there's a lot of people. I don't have an exact number, but I mean, I can 10 people right off the top of my head that I know have this exact same setup. And they do not plan to change that. So 
I will be looking at a different two-factor authentication mechanism for WordPress besides WordFence. Love WordFence. Word fence, the uh, the firewall and the auto blocking and all that's fantastic, but I believe that they've made uh, a lapse in judgment by allowing all you know RFC addresses to be exempted from that. What if you're in a huge organization and you know there are multiple administrators? I mean, even internally, we want our administrators to have to put that two-factor authentication. And what good is two-factor authentication if it, if it, I, I don't know. It, it, to me, it needs to work whether you're inside or outside. So we'll be switching it, and I'll be making a recommendation for another plugin to do two-factor authentication. There are a couple out there, and and we have uh, we've played with them. But if you are self-hosted, and there are a lot of self-hosted folks, uh, and it's going to continue to be a viable option for a long time, and you want or you have regulators that tell you that you need two-factor authentication you're going to run into the same problem that I ran into and you're going to have to look for another plugin. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. I love the product and it is fantastic and it does an awesome job. But this is one place where I found, and they got a whole crew of super qualified security people over there. Um, and this video is not meant to like as a plea. I am, what I'm doing is I'm stating a fact to you. If you use WordFence and uh, you are at an organization where your web servers are on site and you're all, you know, behind the firewall because the days of uh, running non-RFC addresses on the desktops, that should be waning quickly, I would imagine. If it's not, get a hold of us and we'll help you work on your network design. But once again, Word, WordFence does awesome, awesome things, but just this two-factor uh, thing is I'm kind of like, eh, I, you know, like I really wish that, that that wasn't the case. So, and I told them that I will go ahead and find another uh, two-factor authentication plugin. And they said, okay, good luck. Just watch out for these things. So I appreciate that. And so that's, that's what we're going to do. But in case you run into this same situation, no, you're not crazy. It is built like that by design. So that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Patreon link is down below as well as our Discord. So come on over, talk to us on Discord. Go become a patron. Uh, if you need IT consulting, networking, voice over IP, security, uh, servers, the whole bit, go on over to h5llc.com, fill out that contact form. If we can't help you, we'll find you somebody who can. You can also sign up for the newsletter over there. And once again, I sincerely, oh yeah, if you want to buy some of the gear that you see here on the channel, we do have that Amazon link down below. But I do sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.